All right, everyone, welcome to today's meeting of the Urban Forestry Commission um, Educational Outreach Subcommittee. We are using their moniker because we don't have any other subcommittees. Um, the meeting is being held at Spring Grove Cemetery at 320 North Maple Street in Florence, Mass. Today is April 7th, uh, 2023. Um, public comment. Uh, there are no people, there, there is no one present from the public. So we'll go right into our discussion, which is discussion regarding future tree plantings and coordination with volunteer organizations such as Tree Northampton, the Rotary Club, um, and others. Okay. I will. So go ahead and does anyone have anything I want to say before we delve into the? Okay, you probably all want to know why we're here, right? So, <laughs> so a couple of things. So as we talked about in our last meeting, our last urban forestry commission meeting, Rob is um, effectively sort of stepping back from the tree world. So um, we collectively uh, are trying to figure out how we can take pieces and parts of his um, uh, work that he's done and actually sort of figure out how to get them, figure out how to get them accomplished. Um, Rich Parrish and Wendy have done a wonderful job of taking the pruning portion of it um, and working with Jay Gerard um, and Jen mm -hmm. and probably some other Bob and some other volunteers that I probably don't have everyone all their names but um, but then there's the whole aspect of uh, what Rob um, how Rob interacts with myself how Rob interacts with Alicia you know what happens with that conduit you know tree siding tree staking um, the dig safe aspect um, the communication, the other big piece of it is the communication with the setback plantings. You know, Alicia has access to the setback planting um, Google Sheet. So when I get a notification, she gets a notification, I believe. I don't get a notification. You don't get a notification. I just check it like once every month or so. Okay. All right. That's interesting. I will. I will. You want to get a notification? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I, before we keep going on the setback mm -hmm. planting, so the way we get the way the requests come are to you and sometimes to tree northampton Co correct okay. um, and there's a collective google sheet that and on the northampton end of things there's a there's a, a google form that you can fill out and then it populates a google sheet and then i get a notification that someone actually yeah. has access to the sheet and requested something and is that open again on the website I for a little while it was in yes that is, that is open because people have been tagging it because i've got a few notifications okay. so you might want to go check it if you could uh and the other piece of that not just the data collection is the actual conversation parts that happen that i typically don't normally get involved with because i just i'm not out in the street and you guys it, it shows you guys are in the street more than i am actually it's also very detailed. Often you'll talk to yeah. a setback person it's time over yeah. and over. Yeah. You know, go see them and they want to and they pick the tree and then you know so you so, have the tree and then you go the next year and you talk about the tree. And, so, know, the tree. So, so maybe let's let's just zoom out for a second and let's back into what what what's been done so far that's been successful. So Rich, what you've done with Wendy this winter and taking over the pruning has been successful. Any comments from you about how to improve it, how to change it, how to maybe use it too much. No, I, you know, we had a very limited crew. There were on any, we went out once or twice per week, and there was an average of maybe four of us at any one time. Sometimes there were just three of us. So, uh, it was limited, and I think in going, but yeah, limited volunteers. We still got about 400 trees pruned, of which you know Jay devoted to about 40 hours his time to this effort. I went out on my own often. I devoted about 80 hours of my own time. So that made that got us to 400 trees. Going forward, I think we would need a larger volunteer crew. And since this volunteer crew, a larger crew is not going to be that trained yet, mm -hmm. 
having certainly having Jay, or I can imagine if the city could somehow pay another person to devote real time, you know, another qualified person to devote time in which you know the, the volunteers, the trainees could assist, would get us towards a larger number. You know, there's a suggestion that maybe 500 a year, 500 trees per year is necessary to keep up. And you know, with what we had this year, that would be very tough to do. So, so uh, my thought was that by like, people working directly with Jay, that there would be additional people who go out on their own. So you can go out, when I want to say on your own, without Jay, without Rick, or, you know, without me or someone like that. Um, and that might have happened. I mean, you might have got one or, you know, if it keeps growing, it's critical. PJ can work independently, then they can go out and volunteer. Yeah. Um, and some of that, yes, that that would need to happen to, yeah. to grow our numbers. Yes. Yeah, um, I mean it's not more people going out with one highly trained person. It's being able to sub subdivide the, the, the forest. Yeah, but only like a couple, a few people came out of years with perhaps an independent. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that's but that's still a, a great increase. Yeah. It's a tricky part to determine. You got to make sure Rich is comfortable with whatever you know we think is independent. The only um, real way of doing that, it, from my point of view, is for Rich to well, go out for a while. Because even if get a uh, sense. are really good at it, uh, Rich could then influence their view towards training. Like yeah, I mean, you know, what I've learned is that, you know, by doing, by being in this industry for a period of time, there's different pruning. Pruning prescriptions are the same. In essence, you have to approach them in the same. You have to have goals, objectives, a type of pruning system you're going to use, what you're trying to mitigate for. Every arborist does things a little differently. Some arborists are more aggressive. Some arborists are not as aggressive. So I think, you know, I think having multiple people is probably a good thing because you get different a, a different feel for what you know, like for young trees, for example, I don't really advocate removing lower branches, right? Because you really want to have that trunk table develop strongly because you really need a strong trunk in the urban environment. Another arborist might be a little different. They might want to take the lower branches off while they're young because trees can absorb more pruning. Trees can absorb greater than 30% of their canopy being gone because of because they're young, because they're actively growing, where a larger tree may not be able to handle that. So everyone has a little different perspective in pruning. So it would be good to have multiple people, I, I would agree. Um, you know, the whole issue of um, having another another arborist uh, paid, I think is what you're, yeah, I think is something that, you know, the, at the moment that is not uh, in, that would have to be a discussion that I would have to have with the director uh, because we don't have another staff arborist. There's, there's no requirements to have another staff arborist here. So it would have to be an outside vendor. Sure. Yeah. Well, I guess what I was saying is that the tree or camping camp is really in the decision to decide who should be out on their own and that it would right. be better for us if you would just start a couple times with people. So right here, I would just look at Jen and Bob and say, you know, Bob, can we come a couple times? And then we could say, okay, they're independent the way. You, 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 you could, but then there's also a level of, uh, that you don't, as an, as an arborist, you don't feel comfortable with, even if you have a new person that's there, you know? So you, it has to be someone who has experience, I think, if you're gonna leave them on their own. So it'd be like a crew leader, like Rich. Yeah. Bob. Well, that's what I'm saying. Alicia, I Jen. I'm just saying I'd like I think it would be good if you as the crew were, were involved in deciding who the crew leader who the crew leaders are. Uh, I, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it's kind of like I mean, I made myself a crew leader. Right. You know? and, uh, and then <laughs> I kind of made Rich a crew leader, you know, by association. And now he's making people crew leaders potentially, but I think that if you really want like a system that's logical, it's kind of you if you want to. But if you don't, then too much thing can only do it. I don't know. Thanks. I was going to say too that, that some of the um, 
some of the days you, we were with Jay, you know, they were were young tree training and you know easy to reach prune choices and um, I don't know if we needed Jay for all those young tree training. You know, we needed need Jay for some of the trees that had gotten away from us. Um, you know, ap after they should have had young tree training, and then he could he could kind of help us like see a path. But I think we could have gone out by ourselves um, without Jay. You know, he, he uh, and, and we did. Yeah. All right. No, definitely. That's what should be happening next year. Is that the three of you should, in my view, be going out without Jay, and then also get to the point where you're taking other people with you, so that on a given day there can be six or eight of you with three people leading the way. And recruiting those extra people, though, is that's part that's, of something. When you I think people. we can wrestle up people. Ideally, we sit down and we look at the people we have that we've worked, who we've worked with on planting and try to think who is the best prospect. Yeah. So that we know we're you know, starting with people who um, you kind of sense already that they want to do it. If you throw out a blanket, yeah, you get people who show up and then they say, "Oh well, actually, you know, I I can't stand this long, or I can't." You know what I mean? Or yeah, I mean people. It's also, I mean, frankly, you you, you want to go out with people who kind of think aren't kind of like drop stuff in the roadway and, and you know you feel safe working around and so it's really I think as individuals and it's really important or as a group pick them out and say you know come come work with we need some and, and, and there are a ton of people who want to go out for them you know, they just haven't you just haven't made a process for them to go in there. Now I wasn't that involved you had a class it was on a weekday I recall, and we have a bunch of that would be the entry point, I think, to get expand is at that if we want to do that again, like a meetup that we did. Yeah, that, that would probably be would that a good go way well? to start the next season. Does that make sense? Some kind of, mm -hmm. I thought that was excellent. Yeah. I, mean, I learned a ton. Yeah, okay. Was that recorded by any chance? So can I, can I, yeah, can I make a suggestion that you know we've talked about this, but I think we need to sort of codify this. We make a yearly training class, uh, in, you know, indoor portion, and we build some kind of PowerPoint that is consistent. I know that Jay had a lot. Jay had multiple slides of his own, but I think we need to build a little bigger PowerPoint presentation that sort of talks. A little more in depth about because the pruning so pruning has changed um, the uh, ANSI standards um, have changed and pruning is now pruning has different terms and it has different. Um, um, we thought we were learning what to do. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, we need the minimum um, coordinating. Right. Coordinating. Right. So coordinating. Right. So so here's so here's I would recommend I would recommend that you that we get you. I can probably get some of these. These are the companion. This is the companion um, publication for the ANSI A300 Part 1. Okay. So um, the concept of what you're trying to prune hasn't changed, but the actual terminology has changed. So I think it's important to make sure, you know, like for example, what are your pruning objectives, right? They're called improving structure now. Um, they're called uh, risk mitigation pruning, providing clearance, maintaining health. Um, reducing density, restoration, size management, shrub, reju shrub rejuvenation, flower or fruit production, improve a view, improve aesthetics, manage wildlife habit. Um, and I think it's important that we put a PowerPoint together that represents, and I will try to see Ed Gilman, who is a uh, Dr. Gilman from Florida, so Florida State University. He is like the pruning guru. He may have a PowerPoint that already exists that we could actually use. So that would be something like we could start with every year because that way they were to put everybody in the same playing field. Um, what Jay, would that be annually? I guess it would be what, what, January or well, December. I would do December. 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 Right, so we could really get cranking there. Yeah. And then people can plot out their, their schedules. So the fall, we need to plan that. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think that would be good because you, instead of doing it in, in January, it, be, it would be okay to get a leg up and actually prune in December yeah. because we there's no snow on it. I mean, there hasn't been snow on the ground regularly in January, December, quite some quite a few years, and this year was an anomaly, you know. So, um, so that would be good, and I will fish around for a PowerPoint for that. Rich, do you foresee that you give the PowerPoint? Probably with maybe with Jay, um, you know. Yep. Because we we can't know that we're going to have Jay. Okay. Yeah, Jay has indicated that um, he's, you know, he's not sure exactly where he's wanting to go with his. Uh, he wants to develop some kind of business model. Don't know exactly what he's planning on doing with that. Um, he's talked to me about pruning um, other city trees, but because typically when the city enters into an agreement with a contractor to do a specific task, it's from A to Z. So if presently, if Jay or some other singular arbors or Alicia, for example, if you contract with Alicia to do pruning, you know, Alicia doesn't have a dump truck, she doesn't have a chipper, you know, so basically you have all those things you want the contractor to handle. So the city forces don't have to be extended, overextended to finish the work. What we have now works great because we are just working with volunteers. It's easier. We support, we all support each other's mission, basically. You support our mission, the, the DPW supports your mission, and it works. But when you have a contractor in the mix, there's uh, metrics that have to be met. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different. It's a whole procurement process, obviously, as well. So, um, but as we talked in the past, if, um, if someone wanted to gift their time, they can gift their time. Um, and that would have been what Jay could have done. He basically, he, Jay gifted his time. You know, if so, for example, if another entity was to pay Alicia to do something, and Alicia, Alicia would volunteer her time for the city, then that would be a gift that I could accept because it's related to trees. Right. So the fly and the ointment is that if 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 Tree or Hampton today was to pay. <laughs> No, there, there's no fly. There's oh, the fly is that then there's no working compensation. Mm, that, that has nothing, that would have nothing to do with the city. That right. would have to do with who, or if, if Gene Northampton wanted to hire an arborist yep. and that arborist wanted to gift the work yep. to the city of Northampton, that is fine. It, whatever happens on your end of it is what happens on your end of it. Right. So, I mean, the problem for us is we don't have working Correct. Right. So, That's or, or, right. So, I mean, because you're, you're at you know, the volunteer organization, or even if it was just you as an individual and you say, you know, I, I, I want to give X amount of dollars um, in, in labor and I want to hire this person. It's the hiring. Know. Yes. Yes. So, that is, that is something that would need to be worked out a little more extensively. Right. And that's why we keep wanting the city to really avoid going into business of other employees. Right. And this, this is where this kind of gets, you know, and again, I've had a conversation with Donna, and I think as time goes on, maybe we can refine that conversation about how to, how to deal with that. But again, yeah, you know, with, I'll give you an example. It'd be like um, the contractor we presently have, you know, when he comes to remove a tree, he removes everything. He just doesn't take off. He doesn't just, you know, cut it down, and leave it there. He picks it up, he chips it, he picks up the ball log, it's gone. The same thing with a pruning contractor we use. The pruning contractor comes in, they prune the tree, they sanitize their tools, they they take all the dead wood away, they rake up the lawn and it's gone. So, you know, this the limited um capacity we have for operations is with staff is focused on other things like stump grinding, um, you know, other other tree maintenance, tree damage activities, things like that. Okay. So the pruning aspect of it is fantastic. It works well. It's just a matter of we're at this point, we have you know, Rich and Wendy and, and company have taken over that aspect of it, which has been fantastic. And now the question is, is that a how do you make it how do we make it sustainable? Which we have a few thoughts about that already. And then um, how do you know what, what's the capacity level? The training is important, and then how many trees a year is the goal? You know. So those are things we all have to probably think about for next year. And like Sue said, probably have those conversations like at the end of or the, the middle of planting, the fall planting or sometime in the fall, 
September, October. Yeah, because it would be good because we could be, who knows where we're going to be with the weather this summer. Um, we could not be planting that. I have no idea. So, but I think that would be good. And then the other thing, too, is the other portion or the other piece of the puzzle is that how do we, we have to track, we have a tracking sheet that's tracked the location to the, the trees been pruned. I have to get that data somehow into tree keeper so it can actually follow the life of the tree. So that is something that I need to work on. Um, so there's a little bottle. So you you give Rich a list of trees, he gets back to you confirming them, they've been I, done? I believe you use the list, um, the master sheet. Yeah, I, the derivative of that master sheet, yes, is what you, and you basically, yeah. And you report back. And were you able to see it? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. So what I could do is in that master sheet, I can make another column that basically says, you know, tree uh, tree pruning. And then I could just put a data, the data field in there against it. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of trees in there. And that's what Kent used to extrapolate the data for uh, presentation about the tree, um, the trees that we haven't gotten yet at uh, regular meeting, which we're going to get probably maybe next next time. I think. So those were on the commission. There's this guy Kent Johnson, who's yeah, a sorry. real data person, yeah. and he's from Cambridge, from Cambridge. And in Cambridge, he worked with the tree groups to do all kinds of data on the tree planning program and figuring out where tree setback locations could be and. Just he also has done other types of community data projects. He's very, very good. So he's been working with Rich. He gave us um, a um, presentation to the commission publicly this last on Wednesday about land coverage change over time, what's gone from forest to develop. So he's going to dig in. Now he's looking at the trees we planted and comparing it to data that was provided to the city by a contractor by Davy city Davy tree yeah Karen, Karen right Karen Nelson's pulled all the data out of Davy and it's going to send it to him so he's so the tree data is another form of data that has to go into tree keeper which is Davy made this whole database of Northampton trees their health a snapshot in time and it has to get updated and there's a bottleneck because you need to have somebody who's very knowledgeable to do the data entry so Rich is referring to the fact that Parish gives the data to him, so they have a mechanism for that, and then it's got to get uploaded so that the state of each tree is yeah, documented. Yeah, yeah, because they're, they're the tree right, because it's uh, yeah, and so that's why we built that spreadsheet, and that this unfortunately, the spreadsheet has been the default data entry point for all the trees we planted since 2015. Um, it's not really the right way. To to do it, it should go in a tree keeper, but it's pretty, it, it's difficult. I don't, I mean, I would never be outside doing anything if I just sat here entering data the whole time. So it's pretty, it's easier for me to enter the stuff in the, in the spreadsheet as I got the lists um, for the weekly deliveries. That's the best way to do it. And then eventually those all have to be, uh, Addresses have to be like geo coded for the next y axis, and then it can be loaded in the tree keeper. Well, so since 2015 is in there. Everything in that spreadsheet since 2015 is not in tree keeper. There is some things in tree keeper, but the majority of them are not. Yeah. How many trees is it? 2,000, oh. probably. Um, and they, the other thing, too, is that <laughs> the other thing, too, that's important to understand the mortality, and we're talking, uh, we're off of pruning for a second, but the other thing to understand mortality is we've kept track of all the trees that we've replaced. So when a tree, when we have a location, 320 North Maple Street, and we planted a tree, it gets put in there. The tree dies. What happens is that line gets removed and it goes to the bottom of the sheet. And a whole bunch of information is taken out so that the sheet doesn't calculate that particular location. And then the following year, we plant a tree, it gets reported again. So all the trees that have died are on the bottom of the sheet, and you can see when they were replaced, how many times they were replaced. So in this report that Kent's going to give to the commission eventually, it's going to show what our, what our mortality rate is on the 2,000 trees that we planted. And hopefully with details like, you know, certain species, certain, species, okay. certain suppliers. Um, that, yeah, it's not going to say suppliers. It's going to say the type of growing, 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 growing
yeah. to cause a death, to try to get in there. So it doesn't just reflect on there's more nuance to just like did you do a good job planning? Well, yeah, you did, you did do a good job. It's and we know so you did. I think we'll also see that the, the, the drought. I mean, yeah. it did great until the drought. Mm -hmm. The drought, yeah. yeah. We, so just to wrap up the pruning piece of it, yep. you're you're good to go. You're good to take this on for next year again with Wendy. Yes, I, I don't guarantee. Yeah, twenty four seven presence. But you mean twenty four seven coverage? I'm going to give you a pager phone and everything. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm just. Yeah, I just, yeah, just yeah, yeah. So okay, all right, because that 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 Thank would you. okay. So then I'll. Great. Work on trying to find a PowerPoint that will work. We'll figure out a training. I mean, we'll be seeing each other planting, so we'll we'll probably reconvene all that pruning aspect in the fall. And you said you might be able to get us those booklets, the ANSI. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I would. I'd love to I would just. Yeah. I'll just order. I'd love to take a photograph. Yeah, yeah they are proprietary, so you just need to get a book. Yes, and please don't <laughs> please don't copy them. No, I would. I just want to. I don't know if Order. you can get them. Yeah, let's hear it through. Yeah, I think you can't buy them. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. You have to, like, I will. You can buy those on Amazon if you want, but I can also get them from ISA at a discount because I'm an ISA member. Oh, terrific. So, yeah. Lots of pictures. Um, and I actually think the um, the A three hundred series is one whole document now, so you would get everything. I don't think it's broken down like it was. It's one book um, because that companion manual has like that that is one manual of ten that talks about cabling and support, planting, uh, pro, uh, remove everything. So, um, a set of booklets, like ten booklets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one book now with like 10 chapters on it. Okay. So, and that's the companion to the ANSI standards, which are the ANSI standards are just these big. Is there a Golden Leaf Award up there? Z133, that Everyone knows that that's yeah. your award, our so, award. Here is the. Uh, Pruning right here. So here is the actual, that's the ANSI standard, right? And so this is, that's the companion manual to this document. And they, you know, this is what nurserymen, this is also similar to what like the American nurserymen standards are. You know, this, there's, there's a different standard, but this is the, there, this, these are the guiding documents that guide this whole industry on how to operate and how to take care of. And certifications oh. and so forth. Uh, not in here. No, okay. no. This is done by TCI, True Care, and Children Medical no Certifications, but done by ISA. Uh, so, um, so as far as the pruning goes, I think we have like a semblance sort of framework, yeah. and then we'll just continue to have a dialogue about what you need, and then we'll just go from there. But I, but I appreciate everything. I, I think you know. Again, when there's transitions, there's always little this, little that, little nuances. So, you know, we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, the planting, so the planting aspect of things. So let, let's walk through, let's walk through the planting, the planting process, I guess, just so we can all be, I can be clear that I know what happens on the other side. Uh, Rob. Yeah, so, go ahead. so you, usually uh, I develop a list with Alicia yeah. of where we're going to plan. It's based on setback requests, rich input, I mean, telling us like where he thinks sometimes it's very general, like, like you got to go over to that neighborhood, or sometimes it's this particular house or tree that needs to be replaced. So we built a list kind of basically most of the three of us. Um, Working on the list. <laughs> and that list, then Alicia and I have been the ones pretty exclusively to try and match it to trees that we have or trees that we think we can get. And so uh, it, it's a little tricky there because at the same time, someone has to set 
plants left the field and decide what they think we should plant. And it's, but it's uh, part of the siting. It, it's, it's part of why it's mucky because we don't just go and decide what trees to buy. And we don't just decide where we want to plant. We try to integrate what trees we need with what where we want to plant. So that's, that's it. I'll get just that far and then I'll be sure which comment on it. Yeah. That's the part that's kind of in my head. And that's the part that's a little hard to tease out. Right. Because you can end up and replicate with other you, people. You can end up very easily <coughs> the wrong tree to the sites that you know if you don't work it out. This spring we don't have that problem because Alicia and I have already got almost all of the sites that we have matched with trees that we've asked which to purchase. But the purchasing often happens in advance of even knowing where they're going home because we just that's the right order. Yeah. 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 So the next step is this list of places we want to plant trees for for this fall. So the fall planting location yeah. list. Yeah, we need to make a fall planting list. Um some of those trees we already have, like 50 of them, half of them. Oh, but, well, so, well, no, um, Jen got a list of all the stump removal, oh, yeah, no, stump running, which I think was 50, 50 trees. Yeah, like Jillian. Which, um, so that's a place where <coughs> we don't know, this is the interactive art, we, only Jen and Christina know if there's, if there's suitable sites that we can actually plant a tree and what tree we can plant there. And so, That and then for the, the stumps, there's the high Northampton High School. That's supposedly. Good. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, there's it's about 40. 40. So there, oh, that's see, 40. So we're trying to plant 100 trees in spring and trying to plant 100 in fall. I mean, they're roughly. We're trying to plant 100 trees. So 40% are already preordained if Jen goes out there and finds 40 sites that she. And Deemed then worthy. we have some requests coming in for Rich. Those would be fall, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, so we're up to like, it's, if we can get the tree, at least depending on that. Getting the tree. So we might get up to 60 trees, yeah. but all, it's all going to fill in. It partly fills in quite nicely because when we're doing three or 400 trees a year, there were the, there were the 200 like this that are sort of like, man, we'll call them mandatory, like obvious, you got to do this. And then we went out and developed. Discretionary. And our hundred. Like, oh, the site. street needs a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you drive around, you decide where the tree is. So, so well, we're not going to do that every time, basically, right? Well, I mean, like 400 in the season. No, no, no. 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 We're, yeah. we're, I think 200. We're, we're not. Oh, we are. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, no. I mean, no. I'm. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not, I'm not trying to be. Well, of course. Right now, it's this year. It's two hundred. I. I. I think yeah. Two. Two hundred. Two fifty. Mm -hmm. I think. But I think you have to remember something that our canopy is is. Um, our canopy is becoming less diverse in age because we are populating it with younger tree stock and. Um, so we are actually squeezing the adolescent band smaller. Yeah. So the, the longer the the longer the mature trees um, stay alive, obviously, hopefully they stay alive. They are here providing services that we're maintaining them. Um, but we are basically pushing the adolescents. We're squeezing that the percentage we have to a smaller amount. So eventually, what we're going to end up having is we are going to have a um, not a um, a less diverse, we're going to have less trees actually in adolescence than we are in youth, potentially, if we add a lot of trees every year. Yeah, so, so if we were to do like 400 trees every single year, you know, David recommended we do 400 trees, 450 trees in four years. Right. So we have, we have done that. We are, we have actually, we have uh, five years, I'm sorry, it's a five year plan. So we really have like another 500 trees to go and then we'll be at the stocking capacity or the stocking recommendations that Davy recommended in 2016. Because otherwise we have too many trees that are of a certain age. Certain age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so we have to taper our plants. Mm -hmm. So for the coming fall, huh? we have to look at 100, 100 trees. 100 trees. We've got 
scratches list, the stump removals that Ben has, Northampton High School that wants some. Yeah, Northampton High School is not really all. No. no. So first of all, what I should say, I walked around at Northampton High School and um, there's a lot of trees there. I mean, there's a lot of trees. There's yeah. not really, I mean, there might be a few spaces for like that beach is going to go yeah. sometime in the near future. But, and the principal is new. So yeah. well, he that's wasn't. All. He, no, no. no. And, and what we're going to plant there is nothing like yeah. um, Weed School, nothing like uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan Road or uh, or Jackson Street. I mean, there'll be a few trees, but it's um, not. There's well, just not room. I'd be work. happy to work on developing the fall site list. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be great. Um, but I don't want to push anything that makes for more people having to communicate with Brit. Yeah, so, so I mean that's so that's really kind of like so that's a thing from my from my perspective. I'm just trying to get this list that I have here. One thing I think would be super helpful for me is if we develop a calendar that you know I know it's going to move a little bit, but for example, the first thing that gets populated is November. We plan the training for December for planning. Yeah. And maybe pinpoint uh, volunteers that we would like to recruit who we feel like are appropriate, yeah. you know, could. Okay. It's the end so of the planting then, season. Yeah, because I feel already like, lining them up. Yeah, for like, the person. I have, like, when you go into a new job, you have to be there for a year to like, really figure out what's going on and in this particular situation you're like thinking in the present day okay we'll start to plant Wednesday the 12th or whatever it is do we have the big stage do it and about all those pieces but then you've got to have people out in the field like we started doing the stumps and then it snowed so we didn't do them and you know like how soon do I need to get out there and do the you know I don't have a picture of that so if it could be if along the way, if we could have kind of a master calendar of suggested activities at certain times of the year, that would be super helpful to me because I feel like I'm holding all this stuff in my head and I right. really don't. You know. So I might make a suggestion that um, we have a Google calendar that's developed by someone that is all shared. So I, I have a comment though about like keeping all that stuff in your head is that. Just as Rich has taken a particular role of organizing the training, you and Christina, I think, volunteered to organize the individual plans and also be present at them if, if possible in which you get someone else to do it. The part that I was doing of, 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 and Alicia, what we are doing, of figuring out where and how to manage the trees and get the big safe ready is a whole other. Thing. And, we, and I think one of the problems here is that I'll be a lot less effective living in Maine. It's part of the part of the most effective that I would drive around. To see what happens. Often I see a tree that was hit by a car. I put that down. You know, mm -hmm. that, that tree's hit by a car. We'll get put another tree there. Or I would walk down the street and I'd meet people and, and uh, they'd say, I need a tree guy and can I have a tree? Mm -hmm. and I'm, you know, so I, I'm not going to be so effective. So we need, and I, I think, and I think Sue was kind of touching on it, like that she would help develop the fall list. Somebody has to hold the. We have a Google sheet where you yeah, can and see Yeah, a Google it. and a shared sheet. You, you, there's a Google shared sheet. You can so anybody it. can see it. Yeah. But somebody has to go in there and go. Oh, you know what? This spring isn't really shaped up. I got to go out right now and find twelve more sites or whatever. Or the fall. knock on doors and yeah, or or the fall. You look at it and go, hey, we already have. 60 trees, we only need 40 more. So those 40, so what happens is, okay, the cheating that I do, if there's 40 more trees, that's not very many. And so I would then influence Rich to order only large species of trees, because why go plant a whole bunch of underwater trees? Which are the easiest to get. You can plant all these underwater places. If you can, it's better, or, that's that's like when you have extra capacity. Your first 
you know, the first capacity is to try and get to set that tree and take you know the most successful tree. So we're going on. So if you have vacancies in the planting location list for a season, say you have 30 vacancies, you would have him just order the that's the part I got lost. No, so I think that what Rob's trying to explain is that, you know, Rob is like this ever present, like all seeing eye when it comes to trees. And so the way that he's kind of put this whole thing together is that Rob is all over the place. And Rob, ident you know, Rob identifies places in the field. Rob checks with me for trees that we cut down. I will say to Rob, I have seven requests that have to be filled. And Rob puts it all together and then basically matches. Um, um, he goes and checks the locations. If they're acceptable, he'll put a stake out there. If someone will take a photograph, whether it's Alicia or Rob, and then that's one package. That package gets, if, that, if it's all acceptable, which I review them, that package gets sent to me and then it gets sent to Beth Lowe. The other part of that for package, Dixie. yes, for Dick's sake, the other part of that package is, is that then Rob will take the multiple lists from the different nurseries and will match the sites that are acceptable to the potential tree stock that's available. Or sometimes we do it the other way. We know that we want a certain amount of winter king hawthorns, we want a certain amount of uh, London plane trees, we want a certain amount of this, we want a certain amount of that. And then we basically fill the places that I just talked about with the species that we have. And then if there's not enough tree species, of the appropriate species, I should say, it's on hold, it falls off to another, it may fall off to the fall. Yeah. And those trees, so when you have the trees driving it, that's because you know we are short on a tree family for our species diversity of the canopy. Right. So say, so say we're talking about the fall tree, but we don't have a list of everywhere they're going. Yeah. But I see that we don't have that many extra spaces. I'll just pick the trees that we want to plant. And, and so that means I won't go get a bunch of crab apple trees. And is that in your head, or do you, are you actually keeping we a uh, list I've, of we have so many in the legume family, we planted I've, so many in the gingo family? I've you have a list on a paper? Oh, you have an update? No, I think I've shared it with you. It's not updated. Yeah, but it's like 2018. That's what I was yeah. wondering about Kent. Because right, so. when I was going out to do the stumps, I kind of I yeah. I have no idea. Like it, I can look at the Davy thing and it says, okay, we need yeah. we have too much of this, not enough of this. And I know that we've been planting so it's all not, the, all different types of trees. It hasn't but, been updated. Right. But it's so, updated in my head because I, I know how much, you know. And also at the bottom of that list, we'll see the goal is like 200 of these, 200 of those. Yeah, I have no idea. Right. Like I don't. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so my we, question was with Kent. Trump. He's going to use our spreadsheet data. We can get. Yeah. I can what get that information. Team? Eventually, and where it says, yeah. "Here's the ten species that we need to continue planting." Like that's, that's the piece of information. If I'm going to go site trees. Exactly. Yeah, I need to know. Yeah, and you know, it's it has. We need to eat that out of. You. That's no, one no, thing we need to. I don't really have it now because it's out of date. All my, all of well, it's not totally because I, I, kept, I do have a list of everything that was here in relation to those species. In other words, I do have a, the real number from Davy Tree, what we had. So if it says we had, you know, zero, some of them are virtually zero. Right? How many can we get? Almost zero. So, so maybe zero. So then, you know. So we can. Uh, we can ask Kent, or I'll be happy to do yes. Ask Kent. Uh, I think Rich has already talked to him Rich, about these are the baby numbers. This is our big spreadsheet of every tree we planted and what family it's in, right. so that we have our priority species list. Yeah. Okay. So that's in some to some degree that's going to drive what we ask Rich to buy. Exactly. That's a critical piece right so, now. As a person who's first of all tried planning. to start thinking about this, I'm like. So you here, so so this is the map. This is the master list, right here, of the trees we've planted, and the total by family, the total by genus, the yeah. total by species, Wonderful. the total by street. And actually, so so Kent, that. so Kent has this all this data, and he's going to actually extrapolate it and put it in tables and graphs 
So it's much easier for all of us to actually see. So that's so that's what is yeah. That would be yeah. good. So, yeah. so I guess the, the final word is that if you don't know where the trees are going, if you have some confidence that you can really plant what might the trees pick the most best tree for the species. Because otherwise you'll see you'll, you'll end up turning the underwire tree. Just because they're, they're, they're the most spacious. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. And you know, we want to do those too. But, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that um, you really have to make sure the that for the buck isn't there for yeah. Um, yeah. urban cooling and yeah. a whole host of other metrics. We've also done most of the big tree belts already. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. 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 Yes. And, I, and, I, and that's a whole other conversation piece because construction, there's with the infrastructure built being the infrastructure built past two summers ago, there is 10 years worth of bonded construction money available throughout the whole country. There's a trillion dollars roughly in infrastructure money. So there is going to be a lot of construction. Um, and I think that we have to be cognizant of that because some of the construction that's going to happen is probably going to happen on streets that have pre-existing mature trees and also trees that were planted. I'll give you an example. Uh, they're doing Winter Street right now. Winter Street has one very narrow tree belt, uh, and it has uh, a large, mature, overly or improperly pruned uh, red maples. So, um, there, but unfortunately, the tree belt there is limited, and the tree belt that's going to be saved or, or sort of expanded is all underwater. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I think we've planted a lot of trees in a lot of places that I necessarily, you know, we may have created a problem for some other arborist 40 years from now. So I, I just want to be really judicious about how we move forward. So the 200 or 250 trees a year we're going to plant we need to make sure they're planted in places that they're going to succeed. That's why setbacks are so important because that's the, really the best bang for our buck at this point. Um, I did file, speaking of setbacks, I filed over 60 agreements. Oh, they've been coming in? These are all the agreements we ever had. Oh, <laughs> only 60? Uh, yeah, they're $150 each, yes. Yes, so that's over $6,000 of filings. Huh? So I I have other agreements in there that the property owners have changed hands that I'm going to give to someone to treat our captain if they want to go back and knock on the door and say, hey, you know, are you willing to, you know, um, make this agreement for that three and a quarter yard, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. you know, that's your tree. Yeah, because what happened is that people moved before I could get them filed. So and also 60 agreements is not 60 trees. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's like two or there's two to three trees. Sometimes there's four trees, but so I think I think going forward, we have you know we set a number, but I think again it's like fluid. Like you can have all these charts, tables, graphs. You can have mm -hmm. this initiative. You can say we want to plant these areas, and then I don't know the pandemic happens, and mm -hmm. then I don't know nursery stock. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing too is that right. There's going to be a tremendous amount of pressure on the nursery industry because. Part of the Inflation uh, Reduction and Recovery Act, I think is what it's called, there is a, a, a billion dollars of that, that I'm, I think it's a billion, is reserved just for urban forestry and arboriculture and planting. Mm -hmm. So there is going to be grants after grant after grant after grant, all trying to pull from the same nursery stock. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, the constraints will be there, but so I'd like to go back to Sue, what Sue's working on. Really, I think the crux of what we're here for in part is how are we going to coordinate, you know, how, where's the brain? Where, how are we going to coordinate? Sue's kind of stepping up. But my, my problem is Sue's that you have so many responsibilities and you're already doing so much. So, but maybe you're interested enough that it's worth going out and. and Unless there's anyone else who wants to. And so, <laughs> so in order, really I'm just trying to get my head around like okay, the, the task. So somebody has to deal with all the lists. It's almost yeah. like database management. Uh, well, except that the larger part of it is to actually pull in the data to put in the database. Like, right. what tree am I going to go? Well, that could yeah. be a different person. 
So they can, but so, that person has to be aware of like what stock we have and how many trees we can plant that season. But that could be a coordinated, I mean, there could be like a team of people. Yeah, like if yeah I wanted to do with Jen. Uh, yeah, I Jen could totally has more do that. time. Yeah, but I, I could totally be that prior, like, where are we? Yeah. Where are we with this? That would be great. Yeah, I need to know this. Yeah, I need no, to know where I'm one, not the database person. It doesn't have to be one person, but it has to be, <laughs> it has to be one, one team that's in touch. Because yes. otherwise, what happens is that it almost happened this time. We were kind of going along. And we almost didn't make the date for getting the um, big state thing. Alicia and I, because we were both busy and we weren't focused yeah. on like. And Rod's usually like, this needs to go in by Thursday. Yeah. And yeah. what's the lead time on the, on the big safe? And on the big safe, you, you go in order process for 10 days. We need to do the second one. Right? No, but that's, that's a minimum of 10 days. Yeah, yeah. But, See, but, these are the kind of things I have no idea. But Rich likes three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, so, so the more so that you know, because dig safes are only good for 30 days by law, trench permits only good for 30 days by uh, uh ordinance. So, um, they go hand in hand. So, the, the trend, the, the dig safe, the photographs, the stake location, the address go to Beth Willard. Then, um, Beth creates, uh, she calls, she calls dig safe or emails dig safe. Then, a trench permit is. Put together the trench permit goes from there it's distributed to myself the highway superintendent the sewer division and the water superintendent and the traffic signal control person and then they all sign off on them and then the director signs off in the end and that's how you get to excavate in the public right away but but it means that if you do it 10 days ahead you may not get it back in so we need yes. to, so, we need to so, operate so, so, need, so if i'm right. planting on the 12th of april i need to have all those big safes Personally speaking, if you're planning on the 12th of April, you should have you should have everything submitted to me that you want by the 12th. Of Those March. are so they don't no, have to be well, no, I was just I'm right. just using that as a as a hypothetical answer. Um, right. so it's, been it's, putting it in writing, so we have that um, to build a dig safe group. So pick trees from the sheet from the um, that are ready to be planted to build a dig safe group. It's called a dig safe group. Which needs to be sent to Rich about a month before okay. planting. Correct. Okay. It takes up to two weeks to complete the dig safe. Correct. And once the trench permit is complete, it's good for one month. Yeah. Correct. So that's what drives the timing right. to get them ready so that yeah. the volunteers can if plant them on all, a certain day. Then the trees right. don't get planted. I guess that's all I'm saying is somebody has to have that little list and make sure yes. mm -hmm. that they're. Complying. You're doing groups of and, 20 trees. Yeah, and, I, and I do want to tell you that one, we had an incident last week where we had a tree planted on, on Wilson Avenue <laughs> that at, somehow or got planted right next to a water box. I had to go remove really? the tree. Yeah. Because yeah. the person's water line failed and they had to dig the whole water box up and everything. Was yeah. that two, two, two years ago? Wilson was done in 2019. So we, I had to take Mr. Waterbox. Somehow or another, it got planted so close to the water box that they, they, yeah. the hole they would have been working in, the tree would have fell in the hole. Did they notice? Mm -hmm. Did you notice what species it was? Yes, it was a eastern red bud. Yeah, I dug it up. Right side of the road. Left, if you're going down the road. Eastern red bud. Yeah, on left hand side. So this is why it's really critical to make sure that we have um, the dig safes in there. Sure. Yeah. Oh, Did we find it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we would have looked at the line and yeah, I mean it could be, I, I, you know it could be it could be it's the blue. I, I mean, but I mean out of two thousand trees, that's pretty good. But I'm just you know, but this is this is what you know this is why making sure we we understand the process and it's done in an orderly fashion is important. Because that's one tree, all those resources, mm -hmm. yes. and and everything. And then I have to move. Yeah, but, <laughs> but it hardly ever happened before. No, it hardly happens, but again, it's getting, I think, so if we, if you have a list of trees you want to plant on the 12th of May, I need to have the list by the 12th of April, you know, so for every Wednesday and every, for every week that you want to plant, I need to have that week's planting locations and species that you would like pulled out of the nursery. I have to have them. This is how that works. You have to have the locations. Um, 
to me a month ahead of time. And then and then Rob would um depending upon what dig safes and trench permits were complete, would match those locations with that particular week's planting with the species. And then I would get a list a day or two before we have to move them. And I pull them out of the nursery and I drive them to the location. So it's a little tricky because you've got multiple groups going through dig safes. We call them dig safes. One, two, three, or one. Are going through. And so you have to, see, there's some communication with first because you have to know what in big states and what have you. you can't just assume that it got big states in particular. Right. 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 So that's, that's a two way. And thing. how does that, how do you check in? Like I would literally go? call Rich and okay. say, Rich, yeah. I'm did group to... two get done? Yeah, yeah just, exactly the group. He doesn't follow any yeah, yeah. sites. But do you generally them. call Rich once a week? Oh, more than that. More than that. Because yeah. you call Rich several times a week and you'll have a list of things that will take. You want to know are the dig safes done? Have the trees arrived? And also, can you do? Can you can you deliver? At this can you time? deliver? Yeah. On such and such a date. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So in other words, it's kind of a flow, like dig safe done, trees available, trees can be delivered. Um, it's kind of kind of goes like that, and and I mean, you never know because if you know, if one person's out, chance might be no. Yeah, and that's the other thing too. Oper you know, operationally speaking, okay. Beth, yeah. operationally speaking, Beth Willard works in the building inspector's office. Um, you know, and where can I listen to the rest of this? Uh, it'll be uploaded to Northampton Media. Thank you very well, much nice for hey. your time. Yeah. We didn't get into the nitty gritty. Of I know. Water. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think I'll update yet. So uh, you know, I think there's a lot of moving internal parts, and then you have to have the different departments go out and make marks and everything. So. Really, it's about having for the dig safe part of it, it's about having the locations uh, dig safe, um, staked and photographed and sent to me so we can get them processed ahead sure. of time. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, and then what, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. And then when it comes time for that particular week of planting, if you have like 20 dig safes, you know, you're going to, that's, or you have 40 dig safe sites, that's two weeks worth of tree planting off there because we're doing about 10 to 12 trees. Uh, uh, at a time, right? And so that's, Saturday. that's about the capacity that we can move. Okay. Um, so, so Rob and I would communicate like every week on a Monday to say, "What's a, you know? Are you ready for this? Um, I'm going to send you these two lists. This is the Wednesday list. This is the Friday. Uh, this is the Wednesday list. This is the Friday list." And the way that I do that is that I load the trailer um, the day before. So for a Wednesday delivery, the trailer is loaded on Tuesday. It's sitting out back up here. I hook up to it Wednesday morning and I deliver and then I stay with the planters or- I, And Friday, so Tuesday and Friday you load. Yes, Tuesday and Friday. So I need to have those lists. Um, so Monday and Wednesday you need lists. Well, sometimes it does, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, and so, but there's always, there's verbal communication and email communication and for my, Perspective, it's a lot easier if it's one person. And yeah, I, sure. I that is good. absolutely another trick is that you can actually, because you live in Northampton, you can see when the big states are getting done. Yeah. That's a way of knowing. Uh, because they're oh, flag the flags and painting. Flags. Oh, you just go to the site. Well, I, just driving around, I think let's say there's a big safe group. We're waiting. Uh, mm -hmm. I got you. Right? There's a big safe group. Usually, some tree in that group is somewhere where I'm going to be driving. That and I look and, and see if they're, if they're on it or not. And if they're not, the time's going by, I'll call Rich and say, you know, we handed that big safe two and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And there's no marks. Wow. Like, uh, you really keep an eye on things. Right. Well, oh, you know, that whole thing. Like, if you know that you're late with big safes, if they're not coming, uh -huh. like this big safe we're doing right now, which we have to have done with the home second. If you go out on April 18th or 15th, in a week, or 10 so at some point, and you don't see any marks for any of it. Okay. That, then I would often call it I don't see any marks. So, because, I drive by the school like every day. Exactly. If, if there are no marks at the school at some point, someone has to say, What's there? Are no marks at the school. You know, it's a it's a way it's that's kind of, what keeps the program going is that level of detail. It's kind of a nudge. I mean, Rich might have sent it to Beth Willard, but Beth Willard might be out sick and he doesn't know it. Right. Or mm -hmm. or Anne. And well, so here's a dig safe that just came like a few minutes ago. It's for Bermuda's Annie Drive. There you go. So you know, that's here we are. Really 
Right. So it's April, what, April 7th. So we are planting not next week, but the week after. So that's, you know, now the dig safe is done. Now the permit has to be built. And then the permit has to be it's a, it was sent electronically to all the superintendents in an email. And then we actually have to go on a Google sheet and we sign off that everything is okay with it. There's notations on it. So there's a whole process that goes through. So it's really, what's really most important is to have the locations lined up and the digs, the dig safes one, two, three, four, and five put in ahead of time and far enough ahead of time. So by the time that whoever requests the trees to be moved, it's done and ready to go. Yeah. You know, that's going to be moved. The bridge yeah. really depends on that list saying these are the trees. And part of what Jen really can do, and you already do, you try and group the trees. Like it's obvious to group them for the 22nd. Mm -hmm. But you'll see, you'll have a bunch of trees that are dig safe, and you'll see, well, they, you have to group the trees for what you want to plant that day. You mm -hmm. have to match it to the, the, the plate of proof. So Wednesday proof, you know, Wednesday proof. Are people who are have been doing this for years, you can send them all over the place. Oh, so like, 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 yeah. like when you open the, the billiards table. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> but the Saturday group you can't do that because you might have two thirds of the people never having been there. Right. You can't send them anywhere. So Rob and I usually spend like an hour to a week on the phone just going through the list, making sure nothing is falling through the cracks and mm -hmm. what we think the next big safe. Group should be and right. what we need for that, the photos, and yeah, and, 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 and often then making a list of three. Well, you gotta go check on because we yeah. don't know, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like, wow. like something might have fallen through the cracks. I mean, look yeah. at it. sometimes it's like four hours of yeah. just talking, talking. figuring it out. A lot of time on the phone to figure out, but but it, it, again, it won't be as complicated if you're doing half, half as many trees. Yeah. Is way less than half as complicated. And all the replacements. Because, because so right. many of the trees are well, like just doing lean school is the first is the first 20% of the whole plant. That's easy. That's easy. Yeah. yeah. Whereas if you had another, you know, so the big projects just kind of take a lot of ways. So so to, to zoom not to take away from the <clears> ten thousand foot view, but for Arbor Day itself. Are we planting on Arbor Day? Do you have big safe sites for the twenty for the twenty eighth? Are, are, no. are we just doing tree lift giveaway? No, we don't have. We should. We have a big. I thought safe. that's what Leeds was. No, Leeds is for the Leeds and Perfect. Village Hill are the twenty second. Wow. Right. Have a big safe right. Ready. The village. Correct yeah, me if I'm wrong. Exactly. Village Hill is going to be the other half of the. Well, so we we have a big safe ready to go for Village Hill. No, that that's already in. That's being worked on right, right there. Okay. Yeah. Alicia and I have the next big thing. Okay. We haven't sent it to you. Yet. Okay. But I'm not sure it's suitable. Whether it's a Wednesday, what kind of big thing it looks like. Mm -hmm. We don't remember. But yes, we can. <laughs> why don't we send the next big thing? We don't like to also pile them up. Like, you know, we want this one to go through, and then as it goes through, send the next one. Because otherwise, we caught. I've seen like if I put two big big things. Like if there's 40 or 50 on it, it clogs the system. Yeah. So well, I think we're ready to send the next big safe. And it's like cholesterol. Yeah. <laughs> I think when we say the next big safe, we should include who and Jen in that would be great. I would love to be copied on this as well, you well more than copied. Sure. We have a we have a um there they have access to you have access to the Google sheet. You can look okay. and it'll it probably says big safe. Yeah, but then the ones I send you guys are in a different folder that's shared with him and Beth. And yeah, yeah. So I take it out of there. Right. But the big safe that we're pulling from, the next big safe, probably called big safe too. Yeah. It's what drive is it in? Which way don't you think about? Or is um, it? If you go to the tree tracking sheet, you go to share with me, the tree tracking sheet 2023. Yeah. And then at the bottom, there's a tab that says big safe too. But don't type anything in there because yeah, it'll disappear. Yeah, yeah. Open, oh yeah. If you, I told her. If you, if yeah, you, you have a lot of data in that sheet, the whole thing is it's drawn from the whole list. So there's a formula in the dig safe tab. And if you edit it from the dig safe tab, well, it's it never edited from the dig safe tab. It's right. edited from the, the tree tracking sheet. Wait, the main list. 
Oh, so this is it. why you don't want me to do anything. As soon as you try and do the small thing like that. That's why we're on the phone talking. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me things and I'm if you're entering it. Up. If, if we just put yes or, you know, that done or something like that, it goes away. So that oh. was <laughs> I didn't put anything in that task. Yeah, we'll track of it and just hit undo. What do you do? We'll undo. Keep undo. track of the history. So you yeah. just put triple Z or undo. Yeah. Undo. So it's not permanent. Okay. Everything's. And the thing with Google Sheets too, sometimes there's a little delay, like you do something and it doesn't you know, respond to yeah. it's going through the internet. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see the date it's today. A, well, it's right on time. It's, Rich, it's the seventh today. So if we send you the next day, yeah. it's a month ahead. So if we want to try to do a planting on the Saturday of Arbor Day, we usually want that to be something Friday. So oh, on the Friday. Yeah. Ar Arbor Day is Friday. Does right. that mean that we'll have a Friday planting? If you want to have a plan on you know, Friday, but this is the list I got to send to John, and he's going to hopefully populate it. So if uh, I can't get what we need by Arbor Day, which I think I probably could, but that means he's got to. Oh, start. we probably our, G, our next day say it's trees that are near. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So then that that could be the Arbor Day planting. Oh, okay. Do you have a, uh, like a symbolic place because the newspaper usually comes? We have to look at the big thing. Okay. Yeah, just like outstanding requests that people have been waiting for. Oh. Well, our trees that we thought, well, for instance, on that list will be the tree in front of uh, old, old, old school commons, probably. We're missing a tree. There's one we never planted. Old, old school, school commons. Common. Yeah, they didn't like. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're still at stake. Right? Yeah. yeah. So it'll probably include that. That'd be a nice symbolic place. Yeah. On South Street. Yeah. Like, I usually try to involve. Traditionally, we've had maybe I can get some like um, last year we had the environmental club from the Pioneer Valley Pioneer Charter School. Well, but maybe just regulars this year because they're not a bunch in one place and it's not on a big road. Well, we might, we're not sure what we would have. That's the problem. We can not remember uh anything we have to open this and then i'll have the same thing and then we'll talk and then we'll go oh yeah, yeah. and then so we keep moving ahead all right it is the tree on middle street that they've been waiting for for like four years <laughs> uh, maynard Ave. there's four red buds where maynard yeah maynard. that's a very pretty place to plant maynard. are they so digging maynard up they are well they are what yep. do you do about that uh oh um I, so the thing is, is that they are renewing all the house services along with the gas main. That's, this, is, this is where there's no service because it's an empty lot. Maybe. I wouldn't. Yeah. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Number six. I don't remember where main it is. Uh, it's so by Washington. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. There, there is an empty lot there, the where there is, whether it gets yeah. near the house, existing house. I don't know. Where else you got? The little white house, or that's 61 actually. Yeah. Across the street? Yeah. Well, to the left of that house, there's no house. New house? Huh? Is that a new house? No, no there is no house. It's empty lot next to that white house. We planted it at Don Redwood in front of that lot. Oh, I see the lot. So, what day do you leave, Rich? Uh, vacation. Where else did you find I'm leaving our, yeah. the day after Arbor Day. Okay. I'm leaving on the 29th. Are you going to be somewhere else on that Friday? I have it all written down. No, I'm going to be here. You're going to be here. Do you yeah. want to have a planting? And if you guys want to do a planting, we can make a planting happen. Yeah. I, I don't want to do eight million trees. I like to do, you know, a few. Two trees. You can do more than that. It's pretty you built the luxury of, of time is with only 80 trees after the 22nd. Yeah. yeah. That's. Eight plantings, that's four weeks. So we don't need to crunch. You know. Yeah. So a small planting on Arbor Day. You see anything with you that looks like that? I'm just regular volunteers. I won't work to get um, anything fancy. Yeah. But small. It, it can be dig safe by then. Mm -hmm. Can it be dig safe by then? Oh, I mean, I'm just saying, is there anything on our dig safe list? It'll be ready. Yeah. Um, it's a month or a month out. Oh, 87 Locust Street next to the DPW. That's kind of a nice site. It, it's under wire, it's on Route 9, but it's, it's a road. Oh. 
Um, in, in front of somebody's house that requested them, you know, in the tree belt. That sounds nice. Kind of appropriate. We'd have a small group of volunteers, regulars. Yeah, I mean, six people would be six, seven people. Eight, 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 eight. The rest of the you don't have the tree yet. So. Yes, I mean, you can't find a lot of sites because we're waiting. And that stuff. takes us to the process. There's two on process for you. Yeah. I think we're in that triangle. Then we went there and find it a bunch of trees. Right? Wait, where are you talking about? The, the triangle on top of the Maybe there are a couple of reasons to get to that. Right. You mean Jumbo Road Park? The little park near the, the mansion. Yeah, Jumbo Road. Yeah. Um, sort of on the hill. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we want to put more trees in there. We've got enough. Okay. I think it's pretty safe. Yeah, we planted like it's yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we planted there's a lot of them on the other side of the street. Now there's like a little surrounding. Yeah. 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 It's good. Then there's nowhere to park. No. No. Yeah. It's just a triangle. Okay. No. Yeah. I just remember because it's hard to park. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's so we the did. Plant. Plant. We did a big. We did. Yeah. All okay. the morning for the planting day. How many do you want to plant at Village Hill? I need to communicate with the Rotary Club. How many volunteers should go to Village Hill versus Lee School? Uh, there are 14, no, yeah, there are 14 or 16 trees at Village Hill. I think 14 trees at Village Hill. I, 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 I know. We well, they're, they're right by the I'm park. you in here. It's right where, by the park that the beaches fell down. Yeah. So they're... There are succession trees for ash. Trees. Oh, yeah. So there, there right. is already ash trees there. They're quite big. They're, yeah. But we're okay. under planting them. And then okay. a block down in on New Santee, there's three spots. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say they were planted where they just never got to. Yeah. Original. So she has yeah, like right. 30 volunteers. Yeah. And they're, they're losing. So it's, it's, it's not that I would, I would put them equal. Equal. Well, because the 14 trees on are going to be hard to plant on. <laughs> to yeah, yeah, they are. A lot of roots. Yeah, they are. Uh, Speaking of roots in the way, I haven't been there to look at this. Dan has, but if you wanted to organize removing some of the lower branches of the ash ashes that might be in the way, is there? I don't know if they are. I don't think they'll be in the way. I mean, we did. You and I did a ton of pruning there. Yep, just two years ago. And it's about all the low trees right. over the over the sidewalk. Right. So um that's like but you'll see where the states are. And it looks like they're just, are you, no, oh, yeah. Are you suggesting Bob go check on the lower branches of the ashes, ash yeah. trees? I think probably yeah, because this it, week because, and then we'll know whether yeah. Because okay. I mean you don't want them anywhere near the new tree. There are no you know, you want to prune up oh, okay way up. Yeah. Just for, for light and also just to keep on bumping into branches and kind of okay. So there'll be some people in the rotary who want to be at the lead school because the school is sure. Then there'll be a bunch of rotary people um, who aren't as connected to the school. We'll have right. them go to Village Hill. And then um, I'm working on a press release. So I can talk about that. Can I? Does it make sense to put in the, the ash? Trees or were trees, yeah. or succession trees. I thought that would be good for the press release. Yeah, because also people then understand when they get there why we're planting trees. Yeah, it doesn't seem odd. They'll be like, well, there's so many trees here. Yeah. yeah. Are there white stakes there? I don't have any. Yes, they're state. They're state. Okay. Oh, you're down on the job. I'm not getting out as much as I will yeah. start. We're going to get you out. So you got to help okay. fill in for one of yeah. Rob's yeah. eyes. So there's four on the side. Yeah, there's a row. I don't know. Row. I know those yeah, those ones done yeah. um, by the community gardens and yeah, well, the way that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah on on New Sandy South and Moser. Yeah. And most of the answers are on Moser. And they're the other one, they're all there's Olander and some on Olander. So yeah, well, well, the ones we are replacing yeah. them are in on Olander. Yeah, and the stakes are there, and okay. the marks are on the street. So has Rich seen the stakes? Because at one point, so it says is. that the ash trees yeah, have been planted too close together. Yeah, right. and the states should be as close together. So, actually, not, the, the, okay. the, the, the trees we're planting are fairly narrow. We're planting more in sweet gums. 
which are not columnar, but they're not. M O M O R A I N E. Yes. So we need a person. I guess I can put that in the press release. Really. I'll run it all by the like going back to the planting on the 22nd. So I'm going to have to be at lead school and the, the trees are really spread out. So I'm going to have to, I already told Vicki, don't count me as a, as a, as a leader. Right. You're a floater. Yeah, I got to go around. So we need another per, a person who's going to be in charge of the planting at, um, at Village Hill. Well, I will say this, that Sue makes a very good floater. If she goes around and talks to everybody and you can feel comfortable. I love floating. The only thing is I end up needing somebody, and I'm just gonna throw this out, that we have somebody at each site who's experienced in roots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the part where um we don't know, especially with the bare roots sometimes we can't figure out where the flare is. Yeah. Or we have a root that we don't know is it too big to cut off, oh, but it's going yeah. up under. Yeah, we need a surgeon. On and site. a surgeon on site. Because I wonder if Jay would be willing to. Are these, are these born? Are we are the okay. We're talking about okay. like, So I know, suggest we have a surgeon at each are fair location. Fair oh, okay. And then the floater can say, Surgeon, we need you over yeah. here. Yeah. And keep that surgeon yeah. moving. Yeah. 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 What we've had is the yeah. surgeons are like, Rob and Red today, well, and they get stuck in some hole, I can, I can and there's that. a yeah, I don't know, like the other end. I'll do that. Okay, so I think Bob and Alicia should be in the other show. So it's surgeon at each location and a floater at each location. Yeah, is Rich coming on the 22nd? If you don't know, what's that? So what day is it? we already have a planting day for yeah. the village? Yeah. yeah, the twenty second. Okay. And if it rains, it's Earth Day. If it rains, it's the twenty second. I got it. Okay. Right. Twenty second. And yeah, so. So okay. Alicia and Bob. Um, You're not going to be there. Uh, Wherever you want me. I'm not on the rain day, but if it's on the Saturday, you'll be there. Okay. Because I don't know if you heard us, but oh, yeah. what we want to have is a, a surgeon at each. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then a floater yeah. would kind of direct yeah. the surgeon yeah. around can make, a make sure that the roots are going yeah. So we'll get on that. I don't, I don't know if anybody knows this. Well, the white stains, they really have to keep their eyes. Another open. issue, though, is the Rotary has recruited all these volunteers. So we need to like let that settle in and see. Mm -hmm. You know, so the village people situation. might say they want to help. They, yeah. Right. Because it's a sign up situation right now, because we just needed to know. Yeah, we needed to know. Excellent. Things sound better organized than they ever did. <laughs> well, Jen, well you, the words play up in like, well, I feel well, a little bit wait, like I'm well, one, one, one thing though, I think suggest to the leech of the I don't know if it got out, but there should be a if there can be a planting before then, that would be good to get people. Oh, we want to discuss it. Oh. Uh, replacement trees. Wednesday. Twelve. Not going to be here. Can it be at a training Maybe or something? Maybe the nineteenth. I'll fail. I need to know. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> it's also. I haven't been answering. I'm like, it's here. also good to get the machinery rolling. Yeah. You know, get it. Get everyone's. You know. The equipment out. Yeah. The vests. Who has the vests? Are they in the Everything's vest? in the shed. We can, you know, we we can have wash enough shed. Them. What about vests for, for our regulars? Like Jess and um, yeah, Miles came up for me a couple times in North mm -hmm. Carolina. They don't have vests. So. Are there any left? We, we're like down in one. Oh, hey, yeah. They're you not know, cheap, but if people are going to keep using them. What, There's some upstairs. I think upstairs here. Yeah. The not oh. only ones. Okay. We no. like ones with the trees on them. Yeah. Okay, and I want mine then. We have to get some more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The ones Rich has are not doing. Can you, can you reorder them? Yeah. So you want to plant on the 19th? Yes. Yeah, the 19th is doable. Monday's a holiday. Tuesday, we can move the trees. Great. Have them on the trailer in the 19th. Yeah, we could plan. And that's out of the existing stock that we have in the nursery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, it's in, in and then that's a Wednesday because they're all over the place. And they're all replacements. Okay. And those are all the trees that are done. So the, the thing, 
So, so the thing about those replacement trees is that you can't, if they're all over the place when you're putting a list together, they can't you the list can't be huge, like 10 is max. Six or eight. Okay, perfect. Because you 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 know, I we hook up at seven o'clock and then we gotta distribute and we want to make sure that we wherever the rally it's the other thing too is that someone is gonna need another thing that we didn't talk about is the rally point, right? So every time there's a planting, there's a rally point. Um, and Rob usually Rob and I would coordinate that so I would know a where to start with the first tree to be unloaded. And then I would just circle back to the rally point and then start the pickup process, or I would plant or whatever. You try and make a rally point a place where there's multiple trees. Yep. So, say there's a place with three trees, but there's some trees. And you meet there and start there, you can get six or eight people planting. Mm -hmm. And that gets everyone communicating. And mm -hmm. Because to tell people ahead of time where they're going to go is kind of complicated. No, no, no. no. Yeah, I get it. I yeah, understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a piece of paper to stand up. Yeah. Now, there's some exceptions to that. Guys, like, well, I'm for independence here. Sometimes <laughs> I will have spoken to with some remote tree and I'll get rich. Go get that. Just go yeah. get that. You know, because nobody wants to go, you know. And he's got his tools to get uh, that. That's okay. And he has his tools. Rob, Rob, yeah, he's another one. He's another, yeah, okay. he's another. Independent contractor. Yeah. The independent folks, they don't need they don't need anyone working with them. They're very strong. They, right, can, right, right. they can get it done. So you know, if you got something, <laughs> they don't want any of us. Don't want to answer stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all. Yeah. Okay. Then we can all talk about this openly. Because at first. In organizing the, the send them away guys, I always felt like, am I just reinforcing you know something you don't want? Or they don't want it. Hey, yeah. if they're gonna dig the holes and do it right, put them in. Yeah. I say, all right. Yeah, yeah. And and I think you know, if there's one tree on Billy Hill, you might just call Bob and say, you know, before you come mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. people don't nine. people don't like driving all about very much. So, and Just, some of them come on bicycles. And if you have a city in another part of the city, you know, that's right. Um, a couple of them will George say, Yeah, George yeah. Yeah. And um, Paul. Paul. And what's the woman's name, the therapist with the German accent? Oh, yeah. Oh, Patricia. Yeah. Patricia. Patricia. Yeah. She's good. Yeah. Um, and Miles and Destiny. Oh, we have such wonderful people. We do. We have a great, we yeah. have, we've built up a real nice group of people. Great. So we're looking at 20, so you're looking at the 19th, then the 22nd, and then the 28th. And the 28th, what day of the week is that? Wednesday. Well, then we're, we're golden, because it's a Wednesday, so you need to disperse, which they're going to tend to be, because we're, we're doing catch-up trades. Right? The 19th Wednesday, yeah. Okay. So the list you're working off of right now mm -hmm. is not a stealthy list not going out the window. No. Now that's for the fall. Yeah, yeah. 26th okay. the Wednesday. Okay. The fall, yeah, the fall we, we the 19th will be the first planting day. That'll be the Wednesday crew, and they're gonna be kind of scattered. Mm -hmm. Then the 22nd will have two crews, mm -hmm. one at Leeds School, one at Village Hill. Right. Yep. That's the big rotary Earth Day. Okay. The 28th is a Friday. That's actually Arbor Day. We're not going to do a lot. We're just going to do. We're not going to do what we did last year. We're going to do South Street. And we do the field. We did do the field. That was fun. Yeah, we had a lot. We had 60. We had too many barrel trees. It was. Yeah. What field? Across the street. Yeah. yeah. And the mayor okay. helps. The mayor volunteered. Right here. I don't know if the mayor in wants to volunteer street. again. This uh, year. She may. We have to just let her know. So we were Oh, I was in along the streets. That was part of the problem. We had so right. many yeah, yeah, people yeah. like all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We can't really figure out the next day safe beyond this until we know what's in trees. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. So, so our next twenty eighth, we don't have the trees. Gotcha. So it's hard to say. What we and then we don't have a tree warden until what date? Yeah. So that's that's the. Okay. What's what's the time that you're going, Rich? I am leaving the 29th, and I will not be returning until basically. Hold on one second. Uh, 
I will not be back to work until the 15th. So we have a little problem there because we, we May need, 15th. before we, before you leave, we need to know it's recycled. Well, you'll know because John John will, will, reply. will reply. The question is A, are we going to get a delivery? B, um, what's the capacity to get things done? Uh, and C, who are you going to communicate with? You mean while you're gone? Yep. Yeah. Excuse me. So I, I suppose we do, instead of 10 trees at a time, scale it down yeah. and do like maybe five trees at yeah. a time. Good. Could we still do Wednesday and Saturday? The five trees. Five or six trees. Yeah, six. Let's do for six. Well, six sit in the pickup truck. We have one pickup truck with trees in it. So we won't have um, the city moving the trees to the site. So you're talking on um, the so Tuesday and Thursday. Or yeah, Tuesday and Thursday, we need to move trees from the yard to the sites. Right. If, if we it, want to plant while he's gone. If it's just six trees, it's possible that um, Abby and Brooke might help out. And how we communicate with them? Right. What if they're out sick? Well, we have to, so one of the things we have to do is we have to know way ahead of time. So instead of like, before Rich leaves, we have to save the trees in the plant. Yeah, you, basically, I need to know the locations, what you want, where it's going to go. Yeah. Before. And, well, we have to do the business. Right. So right. That's, when are you you're leaving the 29th? Yeah. I'm leaving the 29th in the afternoon after I come back from Plainfield. Yeah. Right. So so the 29th means. So, so we need to mark in the next day. Which Wednesday? Next, coming Wednesday, it's all. Well, yeah, we have to get. We have to have it figured out. But the one after the six three. three. Yeah, if we want to plant while he's gone. But we can't do the six three until we know the tree. I think we'll know by then. I will know by then. Okay, then we'll do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Six three. Uh, Am I interrupting something here? Hi, a meeting, an official meeting. You're being recorded. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, I'm just looking through. Uh, about finding a grave. See, next, next see if Bill is there. Yeah. Thanks, Simon. You're welcome, Harry. You too. So by twelfth, we need to dig safe number three. Yeah. And then we need outline for Rich what we want to plant, where we want to plant it. And I propose that um, we have a second truck that would get buckets and mulch. So we have one truck, private trucks, we pick up six trays and one pickup truck yep. on Tuesday and Thursday. And then we have a second truck, which would fill with buckets of mulch. And then I propose that um, at those locations, maybe even advance, I could go and knock on the door and say, we're going to be planting trees. You have your hose fixed up, you know, like the old oh, age. Oh, well, if you, if you have... If you have the, um, if we have a preordained list of where we're going to be, I we can give it to Brooke or both either Brooke and Abby so they can actually provide you with the water because mm -hmm. they are going to okay. have to come back and put water bags on and water the trees. Yeah. Oh, okay. especially if it's going to be like 80 degrees next week. Like, oh, you know, so that's a whole other subject. So, um, I will need, I will need a list yeah. before. I leave to tell them on this day, this is going to happen here, et cetera. And then you need to go get the water bag material. And speaking of the weather, as Rich is getting going on this, might seem like, oh, we're front loading it a lot. But remember, in the past, we get to like middle of May, we're done. Yeah. yeah. Because of the weather. Um, and he's coming back middle of May. Right. Whereas it so used to be, we were planting the whole team. Yeah, when our what plan was in our thoughts. Yeah, at least we thought. Yeah. Right. So did say three. You and Rob, Alicia and Rob, are going to work on that list. Yeah. And but, then would you send me the addresses, well, and then I go stake and then mark them. Yeah. 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 But, okay. but partly you should watch us. You can see it on the on the tree tracking. Yeah. Okay. You can see it. You can part of it. We'll make you part of it. You will see it on the tree tracking. Okay. Well, at least you have the tree tracking list open right now. Did you add on there Armory Street? Armory? Yes. 
I email. I think we did an email from somebody. West Farms, right? That would be there for Bob. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Because he emailed again and yeah. said, yeah. and I and I've been. Yeah, I didn't know. So, and I've been, I had, you were caregiving and I was not doing anything. So yeah, the, yeah. the, the um, this is somebody who emailed me. Yeah, that's ranking up, ranking out. Said that he was waiting for a dream for a year. Yeah. So, yeah, so I love, I hope we can be eating. I don't give that many eatables, right? We should have another name check out. I think we're going to, I think we're going to have to. Yeah, I oh, think yeah. just this, so there's can, something special happening here. This is good. Well, okay. well, I just think, I mean, we've maybe reached other, but I think the people who are trying to figure out how to move forward and do right, this, right? I, right. I do think we're gonna, we should have like a regular. So, to, to have meetings, what you got to do is get rid of probably like me and Rich because because we make we then make a quorum. How well, yeah, so, so how many is a quorum? It doesn't matter how many a quorum is. It's a matter of what subject material you're talking about and whether or not it's actually subject to uh, an Urban Forestry Commission meeting. So if whatever we talk about in this meeting, which we are going to bring back to the full body because we're going to talk about the plans, it is considered, um, it would be, if we didn't have this as a regular public meeting, it would be considered a violation of the law. So you can have two commissioners like you and Molly met, um, even though there's only two of you, you have uh, information that, that that's coming back to the full commission that has to be posted. So then we have to record it and take minutes. Correct. So, so today, even if the commission isn't going to deliberate on the topic. We're just trying to plan how we're doing. I, that, I, that is a good question. I mean, I always- That would like, free us up. I always like- Safe. Yeah, yeah, I hear okay, you. But if the meeting is called by Tree Northampton and we don't have too many commissioners there, I'm a little if it's a Tree Northampton meeting, it has nothing to do with the city. That's, I mean, okay. as far as well, I mean, but, but I, what I'm saying is that Rich is this, this, one, soon. this, okay. this one, this one, this one, right? This meeting in particular is, is about the logistics, so that's too many. Okay, well, yeah, the 10,000 foot logistics and the minutia, yeah, which really is something that's going to handle um oh you're fine uh, yeah you tell her yes awesome good. um That's something so wow. so basically <laughs> so basically it would be in our stuff would we be in the test we'd have to go away from there so perhaps see what we need to do is um pick a regular time yeah a regular yeah. interval like we don't have to do that right now but you know, yeah. it would make me feel better if we're not one. Yeah. Yeah. You might find grandson. Like yeah. every meeting, I'm like, what yeah, are you doing? Know, you know, there's just so yeah. much yeah. more. I'm than wondering if I should have if both of us should on the call. Well, we're just going to do it. And a meeting is very, very soon. All right. So, can I just, before before we have multiple sidebar, is there anything else? Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to discuss? Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, get a motion to. A motion to adjourn this meeting. Okay, I'm a second. Second. Okay, all in favor, commissioners? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned.